The challenge that NerdWallet and Atomic sought out to solve is how can we make treasury bills behave and feel like cash? Mm. And when you think about treasury bills today, they're much less flexible than cash. In the sense, as you mentioned, you have to buy them in secondary markets in increments of $1,000. We built technology to fractionalize ownership of treasury bills so you can actually purchase it in increments of one cent. Which means that if you put it into account, you can actually deposit and spend as well in increments of one cent. Right. Well, explain <clears throat> to me, David, how this isn't a problem necessarily solved by money market funds. Because I'm sure a lot of people watching could say, OK, can I get treasury bills already in a money market fund? Can I just click onto Fidelity or my brokerage platform and sort of do this already? Money market funds were a, simula a simplification of access to treasury bills. But you have to consider the fact that with money market funds, you have an expense ratio. Mm -hmm. So you're not getting the highest yield you can potentially get. And at the same time, you might not be realizing the benefits of uh, being exempt from state and local taxes as well that you do get with treasury bills. So I could buy, for example, a 30-year. It's yielding 4.3% right now. And I could still use the account to pay my bills. I wouldn't have to move money around first. Um, I can essentially just use it as a checking account. You could. We've simplified the whole process of owning a treasury bill. Also, the whole ongoing management of having a treasury bill. The fact that they have fixed duration and you need to reinvest it every time one matures. All of that is abstracted away so that you can use the account like a cash account without having to be a financial expert. Now, we wouldn't necessarily be investing in 30-year No, you have massive bills. price risk, obviously. Exactly. Yeah. We would keep it to four-week treasury bills in that regard. And I'm, let's talk a little bit about timing here, because we've been talking about how, you know, if you take a look at money market mm -hmm. funds, assets at an all-time high, but we speak to investors all day long who say, now is the time to get out of cash. You have the Fed cutting rates. Are you concerned that demand might not be what it had been if you had launched this, say, a year or 18 months ago? So I think there are two schools of thought. And when you look at the data, when you look at the past six rate cuts, and when you look at what the asset levels in retail money market funds were, you'd actually see that when the rate cut cycle began, assets and money market funds continue to grow. It's only once uh, rates drop below 2% or below 1% that you started to see outflows. So we don't expect there to be outflows anytime soon. And at the same time, we're not necessarily providing this product to people who are looking for an alternative to park their cash instead of investing. Instead, the product is for people that are looking to save for short-term goals like a wedding or a down payment, people who, for whom wealth preservation is a key uh, tenant of why they're putting money in this account. Is there exclusi exclusivity to this agreement? I mean, you build this technology, and then NerdWallet uses it on their website, right? Um, I'm sure other websites are going to want to be able to offer the same. Do you then have other clients that will use it, or do you have you signed up to NerdWallet for a certain amount of time? Well, if you think about what Atomic does, Atomic works in the background with fintech apps, with banks, and with credit unions to make investing available for them. So it's in our business model to partner with different companies and to make different products available. Now, the reason why this partnership with NerdWallet is exciting, it's not exclusive, but it's very exciting, is because NerdWallet reaches tens of millions of Americans every month. Mm they help, make, help them make informed decisions on what to do with their finances. And so they are in a unique position to really making this treasury account mainstream, just given their reach and given the trust that they have with their members. What does this mean then for your business? I mean, I imagine it's a feather in your cap in terms of fundraising if you wanted to do another round. Well, it's an exciting time for us. And we have multiple partnerships like this that are also coming to market soon. And so very excited to see what happens next.